The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? from the Arkansas PBS studios in Conway. It's Quiz Bowl 2023. It is time for our second match of the day and we are going to find out who will be our 4A Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. Now, if you missed the first hour, here is a refresher on the rules of Quiz Bowl. A quiz bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each and if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20-point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Okay. Round four is back to 20 toss-up questions. And now let's meet the teams for our 4A conference championship matchup between the Bauxite Miners and the Arkadelphia Badgers. I'm Calvin, I'm a senior, and if I'm not eccentric on TV, am I really eccentric at all? Hi, my name is Blaze Batson, I'm a senior, and to quote Shakespeare, I'm here to win. I'm Judson Coon, I'm a senior, I'm the captain, and cutting grass and fighting fire is what I do. I'm Brandon Dickey, and I'm not getting paid enough for this, at least not yet. I'm Stanley, I'm a senior, and all I do is miss questions and chew bubblegum, but I'm all out of bubblegum. I'm Mason, I'm a senior, and just an average guy. I'm Kate Perrin, I'm a junior, and I'm just here for Greek mythology. Hello, my name is Graham Greer, I'm a junior at Arkadelphia High School, and I have a unicorn named Dave. I'm kidding, his name is Shirley. I'm Sullivan Jones, I'm a junior, and I love my mom. I'm Sawyer, I'm a junior, and I'm just here to look pretty. My name is Bryce Martin, I'm a sophomore. I will not tuck it in. Hi, I'm Alice, I'm a sophomore, and I don't even know what I'm doing up this early. My name is Steve Patterson, and I coach the greatest quiz bowl team in Arkansas, the Arkadelphia Badgers. My name is Beverly Slavens. I teach at Arkadelphia High School. I have the privilege of working with, as Mr. Patterson said, the greatest quiz bowl team ever. I also carry the candy for Bryce, who will not tuck his shirt in. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chloe Jackson. I'm a senior at Boxite, and I'll be attending UCA in the fall, and I'm ready to take that trophy home. Go Miners! I'm Trinity Brasher. I'm a junior at Boxsite. Go Miners, go band. I'm Tristan Kelly. I am a uh, sophomore at Boxsite High School, ready to take home the trophy. Go Miners. Hi, I'm Audrey Foster. I'm a sophomore at Boxsite. Go band. Hi, Mom. Hi, I'm Priscilla Williams. I'm a sophomore at Boxsite High School. Go Miners. Hi, I'm Miss Greggs, coach for Boxsite High School, and we are all super excited and proud of our kids. Go Boxite. Hey, I'm Russell Williams. I'm assistant coach at Boxite, and I'm also very proud of those kids. Well, clearly they have a lot of fun on these teams, but this is also very serious business. And so Bill Davis is our quiz bowl expert here today. So we're looking at 4A. What can we expect from these two teams? Well, one thing that's exciting is that Boxite hasn't been here in a long time. They think they may have never been here, but I also heard that they were here and won about 10 years ago. There's right. a trophy somewhere on their <laughs> campus. But the five that members, now take note of that, there's only five members on their team. So there'll be no substitutions okay. for Boxsite. 
However, that might be an advantage. Sometimes when you make substitutions, you make mistakes. Arkadelphia, on the other hand, very experienced, has been here many times. Steve Patterson, wonderful coach. Uh, they will be a challenge for Boxite. Okay, well, I'm excited to see how this all plays out. Let's go ahead and turn it over to our quiz master, Greg Cooper, and find out who will be the 4A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Greg? Round one. Well, thanks, Christina, and welcome. Welcome, everybody, students, and everybody that's here visiting. We're so glad you're here with us for the 4A Quiz Bowl Championship. And contrary to popular belief, I am not Steve Patterson, even though, uh, even though some say we look alike. I don't see it, but, you know, anyway. But we're glad to join us today, and now we're ready to start round one. Start out, start out with the first toss-up question, which is math. Computation. You'll have 20 seconds. We'll put 20 seconds on the clock. And the question is, solve the system of equations. 3x plus 5y equals 12, and negative 10y equals 6x minus 24. All time. The answer I had was the set of all real numbers. Question two. What type of cholesterol made by the liver and small intestine fights inflammation, blood clots, and oxidation and is known as good cholesterol? Calvin. Saturated? No. Oxide, anyone? Uh, Audrey. Polysaturated. No, I have HDL cholesterol or high density lip lipoproteins. Question three. After observing the Trinity test in New Mexico in which the first atomic bomb was detonated, he remarked, now I'm become <coughs> Calvin. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer's correct. Good job. Question four. Taking a job as a governess at Thornfield Hall, Jane Eyre falls in love with her dashing wealthy employer who proposes marriage. <coughs> Uh, Chloe. Rochester. Rochester's correct. Good job. Question five. Which daughter of King Priam of Troy, whose beauty caught the eye of the archer god Apollo? Uh, Chloe. Ellen. No. Was given the gift of true prophecy, but after spurning Apollo's affections, was cursed so that no one would ever heed her predictions. Blaze. Calypso. No, that is Cassandra. Cassandra. Question six. Working without a commission, but with his subject's consent, this artist hoped to enhance and increase his reputation by painting a parasocialite in portrait of Madame X. Identify this American expatriate artist of works such as El Jaleo and portrait of Theodore Roosevelt. Uh, Calvin. Cassat. No. Oxide, anyone? That would be John Singer Sargent. Question seven. What is the term for the interior point in which the distances from the sides of a triangle are equal? <coughs> Sawyer. The epicenter? No. Box side, anyone? It's the end center. Question eight. Meaning teaching, guidance, and law in Hebrew, this is the name for the five books of Moses in the Bible. <coughs> uh, Sawyer. The Pentateuch. No. What is the collective name for these books, also called the Pentateuch? Uh, Chloe. Exodus. Now it's the Torah. Question nine. Emerging suddenly from the cornfield of a local farmer in Mexico in the state of Macalcan in 1943, this cinder cone volcano provided scientists their first opportunity to map the full life cycle of an eruption of this type. Identify this volcano named named after one of the seven or named one of the seven natural wonders of the world in 1997. <coughs> Sawyer. Mount St. Helen. No. Good guess. Uh, Tristan. Mount Kilimanjaro. No, it's Paracutin. Question 10 is a math computation question. We'll get 20 seconds on the clock. What is the condensed form of log 2x plus log 3y 
minus log z. Calvin. Log 2x3y over z? No. Trinity. Log z over 2x times 3y? No, it's log 6xy over z. Question 11. In what type of metabolic reaction within a cell are lar larger molecules separated from smaller molecules, as in the case of respiration, where glucose is broken down to form carbon dioxide and water? Calvin. Decomposition? No. It's time. It's a catabolic reaction. Question 12. William Golding, the author of The Princess Bride, presented his novel as a story within a story, claiming that his book was an abridged version of the original story by a different author. Name... <laughs> Blaze. Lord of the Flies? No. Name this fictional author made up by Golding who is credited with writing the original novel. A time, that is S. Morgenstern. Question 13. This national park in Southern California is a vast protected area characterized by rugged rock formations and desert landscapes. Identify this park that straddles the Colorado and Mojave deserts and shares a name with the 1987 album by Irish rock band U2. Uh, Bryce. Joshua Tree National Park. That's correct. Question 14. Paper and pencils ready for math computation. What is the height of a trapezoid whose area is 32 square inches and bases are 5 inches and 3 inches? Uh, Calvin. 8 inches. 8 inches is correct. Good job. Question 15. What type of seminars require students to be able to lead a discussion by posing thoughtful and engaging questions without teacher... Uh, for Cynthia. Debate. No without teacher intervention, by listening carefully to others and carrying the conversation forward by adding on, agreeing or disagreeing, and asking clarifying questions. Calvin. Quorum? No, that would be a Socratic seminar, named after Socrates. Question 16. This highest peak outside Asia is in the Argentine Andes. Bryce. Aconcagua. Yes, and I'm glad you pronounced that instead of me. Good answer. Question 17. This Roman statesman, orator, and philosopher was Rome's leading intellectual figure in the mid-first century CE, serving as, per, uh, serving as prefect of the guard and tutor to the future emperor Nero. Identify this man who authored 124 morality essays and 10 tragedies, including Octavia. Uh, Bryce. Plenty the Younger. No. Uh, Tristan. Shakespeare. No, it was Seneca the Younger. <laughs> Question 18. What is the degree of the function f of x equals 7x to the fifth minus 4x third plus 3x minus 2? Sawyer. Five. Yes. Question 19. What is the name for the point in the orbit of a planet, asteroid, or comet at which it is at its closest to the sun? <laughs> Uh, for Cynthia. Perihelion. Yes, and I'm glad you had to pronounce that one. Good job. And question 20, last question of the round. This Mesoamerican group's religion was based on a belief in unending struggle between good and evil, which had created and destroyed... <coughs> Calvin. Navajo? No. Which had created and destroyed four sons. Name this group who made daily sacrifices to the sun god Huitzilopochtli. See, that's why I want to pronounce them. Uh, for Cynthia. The Aztecs. That is the Aztecs, yes. Okay, the score now in the 4A championship is Arkadelphia 50 and a box site 30. We'll check on challenges and substitutions. And while we do that, let's toss it back over to Christina. All right, thank you, Greg. Now we are going to cut away briefly to do a bit of quiz bowl housekeeping, but don't go anywhere. We will be back right after this with more.
this month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. <laughs> Have you ever seen one I've of these? I've never seen this before. This is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS Video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries, all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS Video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Join us for an in-depth conversation about the documentary with directors Ken Burns, Lynn Novick, and Sarah Botstein. I always sang. When I got into the camp, that's what saved my life. There are millions upon millions of Jews. Well, there can't be Jews in the German Garden of Eden. Only on Arkansas PBS. Arkansas PBS offers the inspiration you need to do it yourself with a wide variety of programs to satisfy the innovator in you. From sewing to gardening to home improvement and cooking, we have everything to fulfill your DIY needs. Tune in every Saturday for your fix of DIY programs only on Arkansas PBS. Without that program, it really helped me advance my opportunity to this career field. It really gives them a, a fast forward, a, a good track to be able to come into the technical trades. To celebrate the first of five brand new transmitters that will broaden our signal coverage to just under 100% of Arkansas. We are committed to helping the youngest Arkansans prepare for kindergarten and for life. Education is everything, and if we can teach our children you know, to get out there and make the most of that, that's great, so I'm just proud to do my part. This is the first step to reforming our Arkansas, taking the effort to understanding each other's struggles and making them our own. Everyone repeat after me. We have a voice. Could not reach our souls. Paul. Now this is where the magic happens.
Welcome back to the 4A matchup here at the state championships for Quiz Bowl. We recently had a challenge before we went to break, and we now have a judge with us, Rick Klo, to explain what that challenge was and what the outcome was. Take it away. Okay, so the Arkadelphia coach had a, a challenge concerning an interrupted question, and in that interrupted question, the student gave an answer that would have been correct had, but it would not be, have been correct had the question been completed. So at the end of the question, it said to give an, another name for the Pentateuch and other than the Pentateuch, and the student had said Pentateuch. So because you interrupt, when you interrupt the mm -hmm. question, you take the, the risk of not getting your answer ruled correct because there may be a, a change or a hook at the end of the question, unfortunately. Right. And that's what happened this time. So no points were awarded. Okay, well thank you so much for explaining that to us and we appreciate that very much. Let's go ahead and continue the matchup and send it back over to the quiz master. All right, we are back. In the 4A championship, we have Arkadelphia with a score of 50, Bogsite with a score of 30. So we now enter into our second round, round two, which is our toss-up and bonus round. If you answer a toss-up qu question correctly, you get a chance to answer a four-part bonus question. So here we go with, and with that, we begin round two. Round two. Question 21, toss-up. This rock formed from reddish clay material called laterite soil is comprised of aluminum oxide compounds, silica, iron oxides, and titanium oxides, and is refined into pure aluminum metal. Uh, for Cynthia. Boxite. Well, I'm glad you got that one right. <laughs> that is bauxite, yes. Your bonus question is on logic statements. Answer these questions about the conditional statement. If I drive too fast, then I will get a speeding ticket. What is the hypothesis? Cause and effect? No. Uh, what is the conclusion? I will get a speeding ticket. Yes. What is the converse? I will not get a speeding ticket? No. What is the inverse? I will not get a speeding ticket. No, close, but no. Uh, the hypothesis is if I drive too fast. The converse is if I will get a speeding ticket, then I drive too fast. Or if I get a speeding ticket, then I drive or drove too fast. And its inverse is if I do not drive too fast, then I will not get a speeding ticket. Good job. 15 points for that question. Okay, get it turned back over here. Toss up, number 22. While Juneau, Alaska is the northernmost, northernmost capital city among the 50 U.S. states, what capital city is the northernmost in the contiguous United States? Bryce. Augusta. No. For Cynthia. Olympia. Be more specific, please. Olympia, Washington. Yes, Olympia, Washington is correct. Toss up, excuse me, bonus. Your bonus is now is geography terms beginning with the letter A. Identify each of the following geography terms that begin with the letter A. A ring-shaped reef, island, or chain of islands formed from coral. Atoll. Yes. A group of closely connected islands in lakes, rivers, or the oceans. Archipelago. Yes. A body of rock or sediment that holds underground water. Aquifer. Yes and the imaginary line that runs through the poles on which the earth is tilted. Axis. Axis. Yes, good job. 30 points for that one. Question 23. His work, Watson and the Shark, depicts the rescue of English boy Brooke Watson from a shark attack in Havana, Cuba. Identify this American artist who also painted his half-brother with the boy's pet rodent and boy with a squirrel. No answer, that would be John Singleton Copley. Question 24 is math computation. What is the value of I to the 788th power? Beep. Sawyer. One. One is correct. Yeah, not much computation there was. <laughs> Your bonus question. Third bonus question is Mort words. Identify each of the following words that begin with M-O-R-T, Mort. 
A type of loan used to purchase or maintain a home or land. Mortgage? Yes. A sturdy vessel in which material is, is pounded or rubbed with a pestle. Mortar? Mortar? Yes. To be embarrassed, ashamed, or humiliated. Mortified? Mortified? Yes. And a professional who prepared dressed people for burial. Mortician. Excuse me, deceased people. Mortician? <laughs> yes. Good job. And you got 30 points for that question. Good job. Toss up question number 25 to get to the last bonus question. This lawyer, statesman, and humanist who served as Lord High Chancellor of England was executed for treason because he wouldn't support the divorce of Henry VIII from Catherine of Aragon. Name this man a saint in the Catholic... Uh, Bryce. Beckett. No. A saint in the Catholic Church who wrote the humanist work Utopia. Uh, Audrey. Paul. No, that was St. Thomas More. Question 26. In Emily Dickinson's lyrical poem, the speaker meets a gentleman riding in a carriage who stops to pick her up because she... Uh, Blaze. Death. Death is correct. Good job. The final bonus question of the round is the digestive process. From a brief description, identify each of these parts of the digestive process in the human body. Small flap of tissue that folds over the windpipe to prevent choking on food. Designate. Epiglottis? Yes. Contents of the stomach that get emptied into the small intestine. Bile? No. Organ that squeezes bile from the bile ducts into the smaller intestine. Gallbladder? Yes. Digestive enzyme that starts to break down starches as you chew. Hydrolase? No, that would be amylase or saliva. Oh. And the contents of the stomach get emptied into the small intestine is chyme or chyme. So that brings us, that's, that's the last question of round two. So we will check for challenges and substitutions. And while we'll do that, I will go over to Christina and Bill. Okay, thank you, Greg. So, Arkadelphia in the lead here, but been very close. Yes. Very and interesting. there's not going to be a tie in this game. Notice the score. Everything from here forward is 10-point questions. Okay. So, somebody's going to win, somebody's going to lose, and we can't predict that. Notice how Boxi charged and got ahead yes. for a while. So, Arkadelphia doesn't have this in the bucket yet. No, I mean, anything can happen. That's what's so exciting about yes. these matches and to watch them. And so we are halfway through the match, heading into round three. Now, you've watched a lot of Quiz Bowl over the years. How do you gauge a team's confidence and comfort behind the buzzer at this point? It takes a lot of practice mm -hmm. because when you put somebody up there, you're in a pressure point. However, the teams we've watched this morning, it's obvious that they're confident and it's mm -hmm. obvious that they're comfortable. They're not having to look away. They're not having to check with somebody else. They are doing their job. Another thing you'll notice when you have a challenge, they kind of relax because once the challenge is filed, the players can relax. They're out of the loop then. Right. And that's the way it should be. Then when you fire it back up and the questions start coming their way, they have to be good listeners, which means they have to be comfortable. You can't be fidgety and be a good listener. You've got to listen to every word and look for that key word that's going to give you the answer. Well, These like, are very comfortable folks up there. Which is morning. impressive because it is a lot of pressure. It's intense. You can feel it in the room. So I'm very, very impressed. And the with all environment the is different here. When yeah. you go to an invitational, you're on a school campus, you're probably sitting in a classroom. This is not a classroom. No. This is totally different and they've adapted to it. They've done a very good job with that. So let's throw it back to the quiz master right now. Go ahead, Greg. All right, thanks, Christina. Again, uh, as we enter the uh, second half of our match, round three was the lightning round. Boxite trails after the first half, so they will get to choose first in the lightning round. So I will read you the categories, the descriptors, and give you a minute to discuss uh, with your team and your captains. We have good night. Identify the following terms and titles which contain the word night. 
We have first in their field, given description of an achievement, identify the first person to achieve it. And we have space travel. Identify each of the following related to space travel from a brief description. So now, you'll, while you make your decision and talk it over, here is a word from Arkansas PBS. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. This month on Arkansas PBS. Gratitude does not extend to the acceptance of assault. Sister, will you please just forget I said anything? She requires nothing less than a miracle. I barely know her. I question whether she's even my mother at all or a fortune hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a boy from nowhere. Tom. Tom Jones. And a girl from the other side of the world. So free! Only on Arkansas PBS. My name is Al Lopez, Papa Rap in the house. I uh, live in Northwest Arkansas via Puerto Rico. Been here since 1994, since the 94. And really, Arkansas PBS is the one that has taught me about this great community that we have here. Wonderful, beautiful, so much programming, tanta programación for children, for grown ups. Porque es el canal de Arkansas. This is a real Arkansas channel. This month in Passport on the PBS video app. I sit down with a diverse group of veterans to learn more about their experiences before, during, and after action. Is adventure racing the thing where you make life much harder than it needs to be? Always. <laughs> and other shows from Arkansas PBS are available with Passport on the PBS video app. And we are back. It is time for the lightning round. The teams have made their choices, so let's turn it over to our quiz master for round three. Take it away, Greg. Uh, round three. Thanks, Christina. Uh, we have chosen our categories. Boxite got to choose first, and they chose the good night category. And uh, Arkadelphia chose out of the other two space travel. So we'll begin with our with Boxite and one minute on the clock for good night. Identify the following terms and titles which contain the word night. Trinity, I'll be listening to you for the answers. Make eye contact and speak loudly and clearly, please. Here we go. Romantic comedy by Shakespeare set around Christmas time. A Midsummer Night's Dream? No. Sleep disorder in which a person wakes up quickly and scared? Night terrors? Yes. A period of two weeks? Fortnight? Yes. 
an American late night TV show that is comedy, variety, and satire. Saturday, Saturday Night Live. Yes. Family of poisonous and non-poisonous plants, including belladonna and tomato. Nightshade. Yes. A person who prefers to be awake and active in the evenings. Night Owl. Yes. Uh, Rembrandt painting of a group of civic guardsmen. Pass. Uh, American Children's Book by Margaret Wise Brown. Good Night Moon. Yes. Uh, the period of time overnight in which a person is scheduled to work. Night Shift. Yes. Clement Clark Moore poem about Christmas Eve. Twas the night before Christmas. No. Oh. And that's the end of, of those 10 questions. So they'll give you the opportunity to steal numbers one, seven, and 10. Judson will be listening to you. Uh, romantic comedy by Shakespeare set around Christmas time. Answer please. Pass. Okay. Uh, Rembrandt painting of a group of civic guardsmen. Night watch. Yes. And Clement Clark Moore poem about Christmas Eve. The night before Christmas? Yes. No twas there. Uh, and the romantic comedy by Shakespeare was Twelfth Night. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, good, good round, good round, guys. We have now space travel. Judson, it'll be me and you. You can talk to your team when you get ready to answer. Look at me and speak loudly and clearly. Yes, Identify each of the following related to space face travel from a brief description. This Russian dog was the first animal to orbit the Earth. Laika? Yes. Crude moon mission that experienced a malfunction and was un unable to land. Apollo 13? Yes. Name of the first crewed spacecraft of NASA's Artemis mission. Three? No. First human to go into space. Uh, Yuri Gagarin. Designate. Yuri Yes. Only Apollo 11 crew member who didn't walk on the moon. Michael Collins. Michael Collins? Yes. Space station that operated in Earth's low orbit from 1986 to 2001. The, the Mir. The Mir? Yes. Space shuttle that broke apart 73 seconds after launch in 1986, yeah. killing all seven astronauts. Challenger. Yes. Type of animal that was the first mammal in space in 1949. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzee? No. First American to orbit the Earth. Oh, um, yes. John Glenn? Yes. Got it in just under the buzzer. They do give you a chance to steal a couple. Give you a chance to steal number three and number eight. Uh, three is name of the first crewed spacecraft of NASA's Artemis mission. Pass. Okay. And the type of animal that was the first mammal in space in 1949. Monkey? It is a monkey, but it's a rhesus macaque monkey <laughs> and not a chimpanzee. Good job, guys. Good job. So uh, that will do it for the lightning round. And while the score now is 190 for Arkadelphia, 155 for Boxite, and while we look for challenges and substitutions, we'll toss it back to Christina. All right, Greg, thank you so much. It's been an exciting game. I know it will continue to be so, but for right now, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck. The question is, did she fall or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. The shootings are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Mexico is my heart. The United States is now my home. 
And in the space between is la frontera. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens. Culture shock isn't a bad thing. It's the growing pains of a broadening perspective. Come grow with us. Only on Arkansas PBS. This month on Arkansas PBS. Three icons of style. Oh my God. Find ancestors who sacrificed. You lived in a cave. That's unbelievable. And survived. Four international stars retrace their family footsteps across the globe. The world changed because of Hank Williams' songs. The songs are just life. I've seen it or I've lived it. Only on Arkansas PBS. Welcome back to the state championships for Quiz Bowl 2023. It has been an intense game between Bauxite and Arkadelphia. Arkadelphia with the lead, but still plenty of time for anything to happen. So we are ready for the final round, and that means we're going to send it back over to the Quiz Master. Take it away. All right. Thanks, Christine. And you would have think this was, thought this was the first time I'd done this that kind of thing. The answer to question three that was missed on the space travel, I didn't give you the correct answer to that. The name of the first crewed spacecraft of NASA's Artemis mission was Orion. So I apologize for that. I want to make sure everybody knows that. Didn't introduce Sullivan when he entered the third round over here. So I want to give him his props for being in there for the third round for Arkadelphia. And now we have Sawyer back. So uh, with all of that, round four is our 20, last 20 toss-up question rounds. And without any further ado, we will, we will begin round four. Round four. Toss-up number 31. This future president gave a 1964 television address entitled A Time for Choosing, in which he endorsed Republican Barry Goldwater for president. I've identified this man who said, you and I have a rendezvous with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man on earth, whose presidency ushered in a return to conservatism. For Cynthia. Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan is correct. Question 32. In this process, sugars are transformed into a new product through chemical reactions carried out by microorganisms. Identify this process begun around 5000 BCE by Sumerians uh, for Cynthia. Fermentation. Fermentation is correct. Good job. Question 33 is math computation. Convert the decimal number 73 to a binary number. Sawyer. One zero zero one zero zero one. Yes, sir. Good job. Question 34. Which painting technique used by Dutch master Jan Vermeer in works such as Blaze? Chiaroscuro. No. Uh, in, in works such as The Milkmaid and Girl with a Red Hat consist of applying a transparent layer of paint over another thoroughly dried layer of opaque paint to create a stained glass shine through effect. Uh, Audrey. Varnish. No, that would be glazing. Question 35. The October 1854 disastrous British cavalry charge against heavily defended Russian troops at the Battle of Balaklava was immortalized in this poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Uh, Calvin. Charge of the Light Brigade? Yes, even though I screwed up the title or the name. Question 36. Originally referred to as the periodic system, this man's arrangement of the elements, uh, Bryce. Mendeleev? Yes, good answer. 37, identify the conjunctive adverb in the following sentence. The tree has developed a large crack over the years. Eventually, it will have to be cut down for safety's sake. Calvin. Eventually? Yes. Question 38, this building on the banks of the Yamuna River in Agra, India includes this uh, Bryce. Taj Mahal? Yes. Good anticipation. Question 39. In use since 2007, this scale based on damage and estimated wind speeds ranging from 65 to over 200 miles per hour classifies tornadoes on the scale uh, for Cynthia. Fujita? Be more specific, please. Enhanced Fujita? Yes. <laughs> Question 40. 
This 2023, based on True Events biopic, tells the story of how Hank Rogers traveled to the Soviet Union during the height of the Cold War to secure the rights to a video game. Uh, Bryce. Tetris. Tetris is correct. Question 41 is math computation. What is 7x cubed minus 47x squared minus 13x minus 7 divided by quantity x minus 7? Time. Uh, the answer I have is 7x squared plus 2x plus 1. Blaze had that over there, didn't you? <laughs> Question 42. In late summer 1938, Adolf Hitler threatened to unleash a European war unless this piece of land containing a major... Uh, Calvin. The Rhineland? No. Containing a major ethnic group population was ceded to Germany. Uh, for Cynthia. Sudetenland. Sudetenland is correct. Question 43. This American composer and lyricist whose music composes much of the great American songbook wanted to write a peace song in 1938 as fascism and war threatened Europe. Name this composer whose song God Bless America has become a second national anthem. Calvin. Irving Berlin. Irving Berlin is correct. Good job. Question 44. On the orders of Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII of Egypt, this man's head was presented to Julius Caesar after losing the Battle of Pharsalus. Name this man, uh, Bryce. Pompey. Pompey is correct. Time out. Give you a one minute time out. Okay, so we have a timeout going on, and so I want our expert to tell us a little bit about what is that and, and how does that work. Coaches have the right to call a timeout in the first and fourth quarter. They can also call timeouts in the others, not the third quarter when it's getting started. Uh, and they use it at this time of the game in order to put students in and give them this atmosphere. They're looking forward. Uh, not not backward. They're, they're wanting students to be able to sit there for a few minutes and get the feel of what this is like in the studio. And that's what they're doing. Now remember, Boxite can't substitute because there's only five members. Right. But Arkadelphia has 17 in their squad. Wow. Yeah, I, now maybe not all of those are identified as quiz bowlers. Sure. But I will say this as a coach, I always took several, sometimes I'd have 20 or 25, right. because you want them to be involved, and I, they are involved. We've got a lot of students that are involved that's not in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. They're doing research. They're looking at, did, was that correct? Is there another question, answer to that question? So forth and so on. And so, just to be involved in this experience exactly. and feel the live and the excitement of that is a huge experience for all of us. And another thing is too, it helps the students that are in front of the camera because they've got that support system in the back. Okay, well the timeout has been completed, so we're gonna send it back over to the quiz master. All right, welcome back. Leave it to Steve Patterson to do the one thing all day long that we hadn't practiced on, and that was for that timeout. So leave it to him for that. I apologize for that, but he wanted to get some folks in there, so we're gonna welcome Mason and Stanley to the table here for Arkadelphia, and we'll continue on with our toss-up question number 45. In economics, what is the portmanteau for the condition of persistent high inflation and high unemployment leading to a stagnant economy? Judson. Bull market? No. I think we had to know what a portmanteau was there, did we? That would be stagflation. 
46, if a cell is placed into this type of solution, there will be a net flow of water into the cell and the cell will gain volume. Name this type of solution in which the so if the solute concentration outside the cell is lower than inside the cell, the solutes cannot cross the membrane. Calvin. Hypertonic? No. Trinity. Hypotonic? Hypotonic. And it specifically says in parentheses, not hypertonic. Uh, yeah. Question 47. This early submarine played a small part in the American Civil War. Uh, Bryce. The Hunley? Be more specific, please. The CSS Hunley? No. This contact, first contact submarine to sink a warship. Name this Confederate submarine that sank the USS Housatonic. Audrey. SS Hunley? No, it was actually the HL Hunley. It was the USS or CSS HL Hunley. Question 48. The narrator of this novel is a young black man who moves in a 20th century United States where reality is surreal and he can only survive through pre pretense. Identify this work, Ralph Ellison's only novel. <laughs> Trinity. Invisible Man? Yes. And you didn't put the the. If you'd have said the Invisible Man, it would have been wrong. <laughs> Question 49 is math computation. And it's the last one for this match. If that makes y'all as happy as it does me. What is the midpoint of the segment whose endpoints are four, five, and 1217. Uh, Mason. 811. Yes, sir. Good job. And question 50, the final question of the round of the match. This poem by Robert Frost, written in blank verse, is about humans' primitive urge to mark their territory by selling. Uh, Calvin. Mending wall. Yes. Good job. Uh, Steve, you have any challenges? Any challenges over here? Seeing no challenges, that will give us the opportunity to congratulate the 4A runner-up, Boxite, with a score of 215 points, and the 4A champion, Arkadelphia, with 290 points. And we'll send it over to Christina. Very excited in here. Of course, that was a great matchup between Wonderful two great teams. Game. Wonderful game. Played well by both teams. And I want to mention something about these math questions that sure. they have. When they're computational, let's not forget, they get 20 seconds. They only have pencil and paper. Wow. A lot of those students will figure out through the course of the year how to do a lot of that computation in, in their, their head. head. Sure. And they're encouraged to do that. Okay, well, it's hard either way from just watching them. Boy, <laughs> they are so quick on that. So we will be right back to celebrate the winners, of course. But first, let's take a moment to meet some students that we may very well see on this stage in a few years. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. 
join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Welcome back. I'm here with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. Carolyn, you've got awards to hand out. Oh, definitely do. We need a second place trophy to go over here to Oxide, right here. And a nice big check you can put on the wall, but you'll get a real one to go with it too, okay? And then for uh, Philadelphia here, Mm -hmm. They uh, might want to take home the first place trophy. And who wants to get it here? Qu uh, Captain? Okay. And, yeah. And they have a nice big check for the ball, but they also get a banner. Yeah. So they can hang up their banner that says they are first. And I need behind you, Steve. Uh huh. <laughs> this part. Um. Yeah, now we're going to go ahead, yes, and do the uh, all-tournament player uh, and the uh, MVP. We need the MVP, though, I guess, first for this team, and that is Calvin Clarity. So, there you go, Calvin. Fantastic. Now, I need to tell you about some other all-tournament players, and there's several of them here, actually, uh, but I'll read them all off including the ones that come out, uh, became All-Tournament at State. Uh, Kevin Putnam from Berryville. Matthew Brigance from Waldron. Noah Clayton from Truman. Uh, we already got Calvin here. Then we have Aaron Duhon from Clinton. Trinity Bashir from Boxside over here. Uh, Andrew Huffman from Hamburg. Bryce Martin from Arkadelphia, someplace over there. Uh, Connor Wasilewski from Subiaco Academy. Uh, oh, we also have for Cynthia Williams. She's uh, also an all-tournament player. And Zeke Babbitt from Monticello. So that is the all-tournament team for the 4A conference this year. Congratulations, all of you. Wow, what a tournament. Well done, and congrats to everybody involved. And thank you so much, Caroline, as well. That is two matches down, five more to go. Up next, we have the 5A championship between the Valley View Blazers and the Batesville Pioneers. Live right here in just a few minutes. Don't go away. <laughs> 